gonna be a domestic day. <laughs> I clearly need to do my laundry today. Sundays have been one of those days that normally I end up doing laundry. Uh, thankfully, I, I put this in the wash yesterday, so it was drying uh, overnight, so I can just put it away this morning. But it's also the day that I've been doing my grocery shopping. And the theory that I, I shared this a few videos ago, but the theory is that uh, the French are generally trained to stay home on Sundays as it is, and Paris is really slow moving on weekend mornings. So it makes a lot of sense, or at least it would follow, that Sunday mornings would be like the least busy time uh, in a grocery store because, you know, traditionally, who goes grocery shopping on a Sunday? It's not to say there aren't people there, but it's pretty much worked out this whole time. Like, nobody's really showed up uh, in the middle of my grocery shopping trips. And uh, it's been pretty great. At least it's been very, very low turnout. And so yeah, just going right when they open, wandering in, getting your grocery shopping done, and getting home makes for a fairly productive Sunday. Uh, so that's what today is gonna be about, is going and checking out the grocery shopping situation, and then talking a little bit about everything that came up in uh, comments from the announcement. One of the other things is that we're, we're back to the time vortex. So for those of you, somebody was asking uh, if the videos go live like that day from my life, and they don't. They go live the day after, which means that I don't see your comments uh, until the day after, uh, which means that I can't respond to them really until another day after that. So you're seeing me talk about something that happened for you three days ago, I guess. It happened two, no wait, two days ago? It happened yesterday for me? You, you get the idea. It's a little bit confusing. But once we're done grocery shopping, figured we'd cover a little bit of ground about some of the questions. And just to say thank you so much to all of the really, really nice comments. Honestly, like, the excitement for the return of the daily vlog was really, really encouraging. It was kind of exactly like, it just was exactly the reason why I ended up doing it. I love the madness of this all. So, uh, let me put these socks away and then let's, uh, let's go get some food. sauces that I've tried, which I've tried most of these at this point. This is my favorite so far. It's really good. Thick, flavorful, not too salty, but kind of sweet. It's nice. The sun has moved to be into its most aggressive phase, uh, so uh, we can talk a little bit more later, but thanks again for the mask, Dixie. A little bit tight around the ears, but that's okay. And when you pin it down with the headphones, like, pff, doesn't go anywhere, it's great. But those chats with my property manager are fun, because we never really used to talk that much until confinement, and then she had few options of who she could talk with that was nice, and I guess, and so it's been good to catch up with her uh, on a very regular basis, and also get a little bit of the news around, and man, it's crazy to hear all the different people that caught the COVID in the area. Definitely gotta be careful still. Anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee and uh, we can move this chat to when the sun isn't just like blazing on my uh, chest and also like potentially blinding me. 
Very high contrast, not exactly the image that we're looking for. One of the reasons that I didn't get a whole lot of sleep the other night was also because I stayed up really late finishing these guys off, which they're looking pretty good. I feel like they both have their differences, which is fun. Uh, they're both very similar layouts and the ships are pretty similar, but also different. I don't know, I had a lot of fun making these. For those of you that are like, what the heck are you doing? I'm holding up maps that are, these are goal maps. Similar to the one that I have on my wall, very similar, inspired by that. And then instead of actually writing like the names of the islands or the bays or the little seas or the coves or whatever, I left everything blank so that the two recipients of these things can fill them out themselves. They were the um, highest level Kickstarter backers for my book, Sea of the Unknown. There are only two of them that jumped on it in the end. And uh, so I did two of these by hand for them. And uh, yeah, I enjoy, it's a lot of fun. I just like drawing. So it's, it's really nice to do that. I've been, but I keep, I've been leaving them here. I need to package them up and send them off. So that's gonna happen hopefully tomorrow. So vlogging every day, that, the camera looks kind of off kilter. I think that's better. And don't worry, I'll get into this box here in a second. I have a feeling I know what it is, but um, you know, I'll make you wait for it for a second. Thanks to everybody again for the really, really nice comments. It's fun to see how many people were excited that I was coming back and recognizing that that's kind of a misnomer. Hold on, sneeze into your elbow. Don't you hate it how when you like say you're gonna sneeze, you don't end up, ah, oh, that's the worst feeling. Ah, oh, now my eyes are gonna water. Anywho, it was just really fun to go through them all. And it reminded me, the last few days have reminded me of a number of things that were both fun and challenges about daily vlogging. So I thought that I would hit on those right now. And one of the big questions that came up over and over and over again was intro characters and whether or not the intro characters are coming back. Vlogging 1036, I'm feeling too good to even give a crap about you today. And there was a lot of speculation that that's why I let the beard grow out and shaved it down. And while that definitely is always a consideration of mine when I have three months of beard growth. Today is vlogging day 1049. And I was thinking about doing something with the intro characters. There, I, I did not. And there won't be intro characters for season four of my vlog a day. Which is one of those things that just happens. You just you just don't even know it's happening, but it happens. Whatever, whatever length of season that is. And the reason is because those characters are actually a lot of the reason that I was locked in to never missing a day for 54 weeks straight. Because I timed a lot of them with holidays or family birthdays or whatever. Hey, guess what? It's the first birthday of the season. It's vlogging at 802. Happy birthday, Kevin. And if I missed a day, then I would miss a number and either I'd have to skip a number to stay on track or I would be behind. And then you can see how that starts to fall apart. All of a sudden the Monday guys on Tuesday and the Tuesday guys on Wednesday and suddenly they're talking about Halloween, Christmas, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that was actually a really good motivator while I was daily vlogging to continue daily vlogging, like never miss a day because I wanted to make sure I could use all of those intros. It's also what kept me going over the year mark because I initially just filmed the extra two weeks just in case I hadn't had time to make new intro characters and wanted to keep going. So that's kind of a little bit of the history there. Um, I also am kind of really curious to know how many people along the line like saw an intro character kind of a thing and were like, what the heck is this? And clicked away. They're like, I thought this was gonna be a video about blank, but instead there's a pirate yelling at me. I got weevils in my salad. I'm gonna go now. And that was the end of that. So I'm also kind of just looking forward to playing with the format. And this way, if I decide, you know, hey, I need the weekend off or I'm going to take a week or two off or I'm just going to miss a day for whatever reason, the numbering can continue. And it's not quite as obvious or painful to skip that day. For me, at least, it'll, it'll make a really big difference. But it is kind of sad to miss those guys. I do have magnets that are going up to my two-year patrons right now that have like all seven faces of one of those seasons of characters, including the wizard. So that's kind of fun. It's hot in here, by the way. I'm gonna turn that fan on as soon as I can. One of the other things that came up repeatedly, which I talked about a little bit before, but it, that we just touched on and I feel like it's worth touching on again, is those breaks. I, the hardest part for me is gonna be communicating that I'm going to take a break because if I have to take one and I'm just, I just up and take one, I will. Um, but I'm gonna try and make sure to give fair warning that I'm going to take a break. I don't want it to be like a mystery thing when I don't. I don't know, maybe that'd be fun. Maybe, maybe I'll just throw them in. But I'm gonna try and do my best to make sure that I do. It's funny because two days ago, or I guess yesterday, two days ago for you, yesterday for me, time vortex. Going down to the Peloton over to the Luxembourg Gardens, riding home and then running a 10K all in the sun uh, was a little bit much. I felt kind of like crap yesterday afternoon. And I decided to go to this birthday party yesterday, which was really fun. 
Also, the theme of this birthday that I'm going to in the middle of this massive forest just outside of Paris is a funeral for Fiona's youth. So I got to put on a tie. There we go. Don't worry. It's business on top, beach party on the bottom. I mean, I'm not totally, it's, it's still really hot out here. It's the first time I've ever ended up wearing a tie in the forest. And I did end up giving a bizu to the birthday girl. There you are. Hey. Lovely to see you. Welcome to my funeral. Only, only the birthday girl. Nobody else got bizus yesterday, but she caught me off guard and I couldn't say no. I love Fiona. Um, but then I made sure to do the elbow bumps from there. But the other side of that is also just the joy of being around other people. And we were out in a forest seemed very clear and safe and I just hung out for a little bit and went home. And that's kind of the point is that even though I felt kind of terrible, I really wanted to go to her birthday. I really wanted to say happy birthday to her. It was really important to me. But I also set a limit for myself. I brought my own two drinks. When those drinks were gone, I left and uh, I stuck to it. I was very good. And I'm not always gonna be that good. And maybe I should have just stayed home because I did overdo it yesterday. But I'm gonna do my best to take care of myself and find a balance where I can still have a social life, see my friends, and, you know, have a life at the same time. Which, to be honest, is kind of the confusion of this whole daily vlogging thing because it had always been a complete conflation with my actual life, the recording and the not recording and feeling like I had to record everything. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be good. So, fret not, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out. As for timing things, a lot of people suggested maybe I should just do, like, a couple a week, you know, like maybe five a week, whatever. I really, really love it and feel motivated by the challenge of doing it every day. It, it gives a sense of, I don't know, it's really hard. I don't know how to explain this, but when you break it down to something like three a week or whatever, I completely lose track of who I am and what's going on. And this brings me to a point that I was gonna talk about in that I'm back video um, and didn't, which is, it's like, it's become a part of my identity. I've been daily vlogging for so long, uh, for over three years. Um, probably like three years and three months or something like that, that like it really became a part of my identity, who I was, what I did, and probably to an unhealthy degree. So that's what I've been trying to separate and I'm gonna continue to work on. But it's something that like I really, really enjoy and there are elements of it that are really important for me that I also like really gel with. So I don't, I don't really know uh, how to explain this entirely, but I've spent the last like eight months just trying to figure out what am I doing, who am I, how do I move forward? How do I continue to do these things that I love, but be healthy? And I think that I'm in a place where I can figure that balance out finally. And I thought that maybe I could figure that out just by doing other videos, other types of videos, other things, but I just never really felt like it hit my stride. So for those of you that have never seen my daily vlogs, you're getting a taste of that now. There are people that have come along that came along during the period where I wasn't daily vlogging. I hope it's not too much of a shock for you. I hope you enjoy it. I'm still gonna get out, like I've got plans for this week to get out and see some stuff. I'm still gonna make videos surrounding like one topic to focus on and that'll help to build some boundaries around it and also keep things from going nuts. But I'm also ha looking forward to just kind of the free flowing, sit down, talk to you, go grocery shopping, just kind of show you what my daily life is like kind of stuff as well. Cause that's also what makes it really fun and satisfying. So that's kind of what's going on. I should probably open this box before I forget, but. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, yeah, hopefully nobody's freaking out. And if you are freaking out, I'm maybe, you know, have some more coffee, I don't know. Mm. Or less coffee, too much coffee could be at the root of that. We're almost out of memory card space, I gotta hurry. Where's the knife? James gave me a knife, which is really nice of him, but I don't know where it is. Okay, here we go. It's giving me a little like, you're almost out of recording space warning. I should have formatted my card before doing this. Ah! I think this is gonna be, Huzzah! The mounting arm, thank you, Mystery Man, for this mounting arm. Back when I got my monitor, thank you, Yanni. Mystery Man pitched in because he knew that I wanted to get mount it on my desk. And uh, there we go. Should be able to mount my monitor on my desk with this, which maybe we'll have to put in another video. Today. I deleted some stuff. I deleted some stuff, so we have a few minutes left. That's probably a good place to leave things. If you have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments below. I hope that you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are. Thanks again, Mystery Man, for the arm. I'll get that put together here soon. It's gonna be a day of cleaning up around here. My storage unit has gotten out of control, so I might have to show you how that, that goes, but it's basically just, you know, backed up with boxes and other materials. Anyways, Todd, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, but today's Patreon producer was Todd Stroke. Thank you so much for producing today's episode, Todd. I really appreciate it. And thanks, of course, to all of my patrons for making this possible and for, 
I mean, literally changing my life. Uh, your, all of your names, as far as when the, you know, I sent the manuscript off to print, all of your names are in the back of my most recent book. So hopefully you caught that there. Uh, Sea of the Unknown, the same name as these maps over here. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, wherever it is you are. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for yet more of this madness. I'm looking forward to getting out into Paris and seeing more of the city. I will be using more sunscreen in the future. That's for sure. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you are doing great. Weird sign off, I know. There's some larger organizational things that need to happen in here for sure uh, that I look forward to doing someday. But today I'm just gonna get rid of all these boxes. That's, that's my plan.